Hi guys and welcome back to another Dusty episode. Today I decided to make a ring. It's actually my first time making this type of ring. Um, I've got a piece of very dark wood here. I'm not fully sure what type of wood it is. All I know it's very dense and if you cut it it actually smells like a type of cherry wood. And then I want to, I'm going to use a piece of brass plate. I'm going to use a piece of brass plate between, uh, and I'm going to sandwich it between two pieces of this dark wood and then I'm, from there I'm going to start working on my ring. Uh, first up what I'm going to do is I'm going to scuff up the piece of brass a bit so he, I can use my extra song super glue to sandwich the piece of brass between the two pieces of wood. Now that my brass plate it has been scuffed up a bit, as you can see, I'm going to put super glue onto my wood, put my brass plate on it, put extra um, super glue on it, and I'm going to sandwich it like that. Then I'm going to clamp it into my vice clamp, and I'm going to I um, don't have to leave it too long, but I'm going to prefer to leave it for uh, roughly two hours to make sure everything is nice and tight and set up. And don't be shy with your super glue. Just get to turn it like this. And now that that's done, I will see you in a few seconds. Hi guys, and we're back. It's actually the following day. And for some reason I forgot to put my camera on while I was drilling the hole. But as you can see, it is nice and tight. I think it's going to look beautiful. And for the first time using a solid piece of brass, um, to make a ring. I think it's actually going to be quite a challenge. Um, I've used copper before, but I already had them pre-cut for me. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Now, seeing that I already drilled my hole, as you can see, there are two lines. The inside line, I'm going to um, start sanding out the inside bit. And then on the outside, I'm just going to sand normally with my sanding machine, just to get it around and to start getting the shape. So, with all that being said, let's get started.
Now, seeing that all of that is done and I've got my hole, now I can take off all the excess on the outside and then I can complete my ring in not as long time. For to take the excess off of my um, ring, I'm going to use my normal belt sander. So, uh, I'm just going to put you guys up here. Let's get dusty. Where's my mask? Ha ha!
I think this is actually going to look very, very beautiful. Now that I've got the shape of my ring on the outside, I'm just going to make it thinner just to get the perfect ring size and then I can start uh, do the rest of the shaping. We got dusty today. As you can see, we got very dusty today. Okay, so now I'm just dust myself off a bit. So now that I have my ring size, my ring shape and everything, all I have to do now is I just do the rest of the shaping, clean up the insides a bit more and then I can seal it off. To be able to clean out the outsides and to get the rest of my shape done, I've made myself a thingy me bomb. Just going to take some tape off for my ring to fit. Just a bit more. Actually it looks like it's going to rain today. So we're going to have a bit of cold weather for the next two, three days. I don't mind the rain, I mind the cold. It's not always nice. Now I just need to get my ring on here without me breaking.
perfectly centered as well. Now I'm going to put you guys back here so you guys can see what I'm doing. For me to start shaping, I'm going to use 400 grit. Then after I've used 400 grit, I'm going to use 1200 just to get it nice and smooth because I am using brass and the brass normally sometimes use uh, make scratches and I'm going to try to avoid that by using 1200 grit. I'll be with you now. Sorry, my friend from high school was, was here fast. Went to pop in for a visit fast. But let's go on. All the major scratches are now gone so all that i'm going to do now is i'm going to use 1200 grit and make it nice and smooth and nico thanks for to pop in buddy i enjoyed your visit very much it was nice catching up I'm done with this. All that I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean off my edges. 
the front and the back piece. I'm just going to clean it off uh, by using a flat surface with a bit of sanding paper. And for that I'm going to also use 400 grit as well as 1200 grit just to make it nice and smooth like the rest. The ring is almost done guys, just hang in there. I'm going to start off by using 400. At least this is quite fast. And now we're going to 1200. Now, to finish the ring off completely, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of 400 grit and just clean off the inside, just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Instead of just sealing it with minty oil or tea oil, um, I'm actually going to use epoxy to seal it off nicely and bring the color out a bit more than it is. While that, while I'm going to mix the epoxy and everything, I'm not going to put it into the video. I'll just show you guys how it looks at the end. And there we have go. We've got a dark wood with a brass insert ring. If it can just focus. There you go. Okay, so then I will see you in a few seconds. I'm just going to epoxy. As promised, here's the finished product. It came out very beautiful. I like it a lot. So guys, if you went on to enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And then I will see you in the next Dusty episode.